chapter 13. And uh, we'll try not to be long before you. I've got a message that the Lord gave me a long time ago. And I never have preached it. I've, uh, I've studied on it a lot. Never have preached it. And uh, I just felt liberty. And the uh, Lord laid it back on my heart probably three weeks ago. And just felt liberty all, all leading up to uh, this service to preach it. And so uh, excited to, uh, to, to look in God's Word this morning. I'm thankful for the Word of God. Amen. Amen. I'm thankful that we have access to the Father through the Word of God. Amen. 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 I'm thankful for it. Amen. Luke 13. Once you get turned there, I ask you to stand this morning. And uh, 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 I'd say it's out of reverence to reading God's Word, but we've had a lot of singing, and I don't want you to fall asleep. Amen. So this will get your blood flowing. Amen. 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 I know this too. It's hard to preach to hungry Baptists. Amen. I know that. I've, I've had experience with it. Amen. And, uh, when I started preaching, nobody told me that was the hardest thing to do. Amen. But I figured it out. Amen. Amen. So I'll try to be brief this morning. Luke chapter 13, verse number 23 is where I'm going to begin reading and just read a few verses here and uh, try to give you what the Lord laid on my heart. Uh, Luke 13, verse 23 said, Then said one unto him, Lord... Are there few that be saved? Then he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Verse 25 says, When once the master of the house has risen up and has shut to the door, and you begin to stand without and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. Then shall you begin to say, We have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, I, I, I tell you, I know you not whence you are. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. It says, there, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to stand again. We need your help this morning. Father, I can do nothing on my own, and I need you to help me preach this morning. Dear Lord, preach through me, and preach around me, preach above me, preach below me, wherever, whatever way you'd have us to do it this morning. Dear Lord, I pray that we'd follow you in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated this morning. Amen. Thank you for standing. Amen. Amen. Here in the Bible, amen, uh, it, said that, it said that one said unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? Amen. It said, are there few that be saved? I want to preach on this thought this morning. I really am going to try to be brief with you. But I want to preach on this thought. And if I could title this, I would title it, A Limited Time Offer. A Limited Time Offer. Amen. Now, let me say this. If the grocery store sends out a, a thing in the mail that says you can only get this offer for a certain amount of time, we'll line up to go down there. Amen? I mean, friend, let me tell you, amen. I used to work in the grocery store when I was in high school and when I was in college. Amen? Uh, if we had a sale, amen, let me tell you, they'd be lined up in there. Amen. I worked at Food City when they first started doing them midnight madness sales. Amen. I'd pray that I didn't have to work on that Friday night. Amen. I'd ask the church to pray for me. Amen. Amen. I mean, because they what say, preacher, what do you mean? It, at a certain time, that sale was gone. Amen. And so they had to pile in there to get it. Amen. I worked at Walmart for a while. Amen. When I was in college. Amen. I worked in the produce department. I thought I was off the hook when it come around to Black Friday. You know what? At Walmart, they make every employee there, all hands on deck, work Black Friday. Amen. If, if, you, if you don't, amen, they, 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 you have to have previously requested off. Amen. Amen. And it doesn't matter what department you're in, you've got to be dealing with the Black Friday stuff. Amen. Didn't deal with a bit of produce on that day. Amen. Amen. But I dealt with a lot of people because there was a limited time offer. Amen. And they came in in boo coodles to get that offer. Amen. Fought one another to get that offer. Amen. Ridiculous stuff. Amen. To get that offer. Amen. Can I tell you this this morning? Salvation by grace through faith is a limited time offer. It's a limited time offer. Salvation by grace through faith. Going to heaven, amen, amen, and, 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 and let me say this, going to heaven, and don't get me wrong, amen, when I, when I say it like this, but going to heaven and you having to do nothing for it 
is a limited time offer. Amen. It's going to be gone soon. Amen. I want to tell you three things about this limited time offer and I'll be done. It won't be long this morning. Amen. But let me tell you this. Number one, this limited time offer, it is an amazing deal. It's an amazing deal this morning. Amen. Say, preacher, what's the deal? It's salvation by grace through faith. Amen. The Bible says, for uh, by grace are you saved through faith, and that none of yourselves is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Amen. And the Bible tells us, amen, about grace. Amen. Say, preacher, what is grace? Let me help you uh, figure out what grace is. Amen. Uh, grace this morning, amen, uh, the definition is unmerited favor. Amen. That means as good as you've ever been, you can't never earn it. Amen. Amen. That means as, 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 as nice as you've ever been, as many good deeds as you've ever done, you'll never earn grace. Amen. You'll never earn it. Amen. You can't earn grace. Amen. Grace has, is unmerited. Amen. That means there's nothing you can do to get it. But God gives it. Amen. Amen. Nothing you can do. To, let me tell, say, preacher, what is grace? Let me tell you what grace really is this morning. Grace, uh, grace is God knowing where you've been and still loving you. Grace is God knowing what you've said and still loving you. Grace is God knowing how you've treated one another and God's still loving you. Amen. Grace is knowing, amen, that you could have been in church but you wasn't, but God still loves you. Amen. Grace is knowing, amen, amen, how many drinks you've drank, and but God still loves you. Amen. Grace is knowing how much pills you've shot up and taken, amen, but God still loves you. Amen. That's grace. Amen. Grace, amen, is, is you getting exactly what you don't deserve. That's what grace is. Amen. Let me tell you, friend, I've heard many say this before. And we'll look at, at these. Uh, uh, you just turn on the television, you'll find a shooting every day. Amen. Somebody's went in there and shot somebody. Somebody's done this. Somebody's done that. Uh, threw a baby off a balcony somewhere. Uh, something uh, malicious and crazy has happened. Amen. And there'll be somebody somewhere. And, and you know what it'll most of the time be? It'll be some mossy back Christian. Amen. That ain't right with God. Amen. That ain't right with God. Amen. That'll say, you know what? They deserve hell. I want to turn and look at them and say, you deserve hell, friend. I deserve hell, friend. Amen. But that God that we serve, amen, because of grace, amen, we don't have to die and go to hell. Amen. Friend, let me tell you, it's by grace through faith. Amen. Amen. That not of yourselves is what that verse says in Ephesians chapter 2. Amen. Friend, let me tell you, if it's not of yourselves, that means you can take you out of it. Amen. That means, you know what that means? Let me tell you what that means. That, that tells me that my path to heaven cannot be screwed up by me. I can't screw it up. Let me tell you, friend, I know me. And I know if I can take something, I can screw it up pretty good. And uh, you ain't got to admit it, but you the same way. Amen. You ain't perfect. Amen. You'll take something and you'll screw it all to pieces. Amen. You'll screw it up. Amen. But let me tell you, friend, amen, the way to heaven, amen, I can't screw up. It says it's not of myself. Amen. That not of yourselves. Amen. Friend, there ain't nothing you can do this morning, amen, to keep you, amen, uh, from, from receiving uh, that grace. Amen. God's already bestowed it upon us. Amen. Friend, let me tell you, that grace is what Noah found. You know that? Amen. That's what the Bible says over there. If you've got an NIV, that new idiot version Bible, it ain't going to tell you that. Say, preacher, I don't like that preaching. Hold on, you won't like this either. Amen. Amen. That NIV will tell you that Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. That ESV will tell you Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. That ASV will tell you Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. That, uh, 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 what is it? The, the Christian Standard Bible, what most churches are going to these days, will tell you that Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. Let me tell you, friend, just get you a King James Bible and you'll find Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. They take grace out. Amen. Why would you want to take grace out? Amen. Amen. Because grace is the only reason this preacher is standing in front of you. Amen. Grace is the only reason, amen, that we have a church. Amen. Grace is the only reason, amen, that there is food downstairs. Amen. Grace is the only reason, amen, that I'm not dead in a ditch somewhere and you're not dead in a ditch somewhere, friend. I can't afford to take grace out. Amen. Noah found grace. Amen. Say, what was it? Amen. Was it because Noah was a good person? No. It was because God gave him that unmerited favor. Noah didn't earn favor. 
Amen. He didn't find favor. He found unmerited favor. Amen. He found grace. Amen. Let me tell you, friend, this limited time offer, it's an amazing deal. Amen. You just uh, believe. Uh, the Bible said, uh, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I think we need to get back to that. Amen. Amen. We've made it so complicated. Well, who is, it doesn't say whosoever shall go through 12 discipleship trainings shall be saved. I'm all for making disciples and being a disciple, amen, amen, but that don't save you, amen. It ain't for whosoever, amen, amen, well, uh, go out and eat with the preacher, amen, it shall be saved. No, friend, I don't want to go out and eat with some of you, amen, amen, you'll catch that later, amen, amen. Let me tell you, friend, amen, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, amen. Friend, let me tell you, it's still just as simple as it's ever been, amen. It's still an amazing deal, amen. You won't find a better deal, amen. Amen, let me tell you, friend, this limited time offer, it's an amazing deal, but let me tell you this also. Just how, when, when, when these stores have these big sales and, and somewhere along the line, somebody had to make a sacrifice. You think about that. You, if you've ever uh, been around a business or something and they have a big sale, it's going to take a cut at some point for them to maximize their profit. Took a cut because I was the profit that he wanted. Amen. Amen. To maximize his profit, it took a cut. Amen. He took a big cut for me. Amen. Let me tell you, friend, this amazing deal. Amen. This limited time offer. Amen. It required a sacrifice. Amen. It required the best sacrifice that there ever was. Amen. Let me tell you, friend, and Jesus Christ. Amen. If you don't know, He died on the cross for you. Amen. Amen. And for me. Amen. That I could go to heaven. Amen. No other reason. Amen. Not to lift. Him himself up. The Bible says in, in Philippians chapter 2, he humbled himself. He humbled himself to take on, amen, a death, amen. He didn't, my Bible tells me in John chapter 10, amen, it tells me that. He said he had power to lay his life down. He said I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. Amen. That tells me that nobody had to hold him there. Amen. He loved us enough that He died for us. He wanted us enough in the heaven that He stayed there. Amen. Amen. On that old rugged cross. Amen. Let me tell you, friend, amen. And the Bible said over there in uh, Hebrews chapter 4, we tried to preach on it a little bit last week, amen, about we have a, a high priest that uh, uh, said that we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. Amen. It says, but was in all points tempted like as we are. Then it said, yet without sin. Yet without sin. I don't know if you've studied the Bible a lot, but if you have, you know the penalty for sin was death. Amen. I mean, if you don't keep the law, amen, amen, you ain't going. Amen. Somewhere a sacrifice had to be put in there. Amen. Amen. And, and, and all throughout the Bible, praise God, I, I love the Bible. Amen. But Abraham wasn't perfect. Isaac wasn't perfect. Amen. David wasn't perfect. Jacob wasn't perfect. Amen. Ezekiel wasn't perfect. Amen. Elijah wasn't perfect. Amen. All these great men of God. Amen. They weren't perfect. They all sinned. They all sinned. Amen. Old oh, friend, let, let us not get to be a church where we make everybody feel like they're the only one that's ever sinned. Oh, friend. Amen. We're, we're surrounded by a company of sinners. Amen. Amen. We're in that crowd. Amen. Amen. Look around. Amen. We're all sinners saved by grace. If you're saved, amen. If you're lost, you're just a sinner yet and you're sin. Amen. But let me tell you, friend, amen. He, he suffered. He, 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 he kept the whole law. The Bible says this. Let me turn over real quick. You ain't got to turn with me. But in Galatians chapter 3, it said this. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. I mean, he said, he said, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse. There's two words I like. For us. For us. It says, for it is written, Curses everyone that hangeth on a tree. Here's the man, amen, that did keep the whole law, amen, and suffered the full penalty for it, amen, because he knew I couldn't keep the whole law, amen, amen, and I don't have to suffer the penalty for it, amen. Friend, let me tell you, amen, it took a sacrifice, amen, it took God, amen, amen, to get us into heaven, amen. If we're going to make it, amen, it's going to be by through, it's going to be through God. Amen. And the Bible said, and Jesus said, I am the way, the life, uh, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. Amen. 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 You know what that word the means? 
You, you, if you uh, watch a college football, you, you hear about the, they'll say, the Ohio State. They're trying to trademark that right now. That's pitiful. Amen. But that's the point. Amen. But they're trying to trademark that word, the, at the start. You know what that means? Because they're, they're proud of that. They're the only one. That's what they say. He's the way. There ain't multiple ways. There ain't multiple ways. Amen. You, uh, 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 there's been many that said, well, there are many ways to get to heaven. They're lying to you, friend. Amen. Old Joel, he's lying. Joel Osteen, amen. Old, uh, uh, what was her name? Uh, 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 the Paula one. I can't think of her last name, but she's lying to you. Amen. Amen. Telling you that uh, you can get there by this way. You can get there by that way. My Bible. Amen. I'm just going to forget what Joel Osteen said. I'm going to forget what uh, whoever said. Amen. And just look at what Jesus said. Amen. He said, I am the way and the truth and the life. Amen. No man. Amen. That means you won't find another way. Nobody can find another way. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. Let me tell you this. Let, let me tell you this. I know where I've been. Can I tell you that? I know where I've been this morning. And you know where you've been this morning. Amen. But God. But God. Amen. That's what Ephesians chapter 2 says. But God, who is uh, 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 rich and uh, loved, wherewith He loved us. Amen. Friend, let me tell you, amen. That's what Romans 5 8 says. But God commended His love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. amen. Friend, let me tell you, it took a sacrifice. Amen. It didn't take any weak little sacrifice either. Amen. You know, I, I, I was listening to a preacher a few weeks ago, and he was talking about the crucif crucifixion. He said that was the worst. Of the worst. I mean, it was just uh, the, the way uh, uh, of ways to die, that would be the worst. Because there was suffering involved. There was automatic suffering. There wasn't accidental suffering involved. There was automatic suffering involved. Amen. I, I mean, there was uh, more pain than there'd ever been. But let me tell you this. Amen. Say, preacher, why are you trying to say this? Well, I'm trying to say this because I, I like Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, it says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despite his shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. But verse 3 says, For consider him. When I was studying this, I just sit for a little while. I'll just be honest with you. It took me a long time to get through this. So I just sit for a minute and considered him. Oh, friend, let me tell you, amen, we, we, we just consider Him yeah, for a little while, amen. I mean, I mean when, you, when, you, when you quit considering mom and daddy for a minute, I love my mom and daddy, but friend, I, I, you got to quit considering them for a minute. Amen. And you quit considering your friends. Quit considering your husband or your wife. Quit considering your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Quit considering your neighbor. Quit considering the church members. And spend some time considering Him. Spend some time thinking about Him. Amen. And what He did for you. Amen. Amen. And what? Amen. How much He loved you. Amen. And how much He still loves you. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. And the Bible said, Greater love hath no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. Amen. Consider Him. Amen. Amen. I won't have to reach about you coming back to church if you consider Him. Amen. I won't have to reach about you soul winning and knocking on the door. Amen. If you'll consider Him for a little while. Amen. I won't have to tell you to read your Bible, amen, if you'll consider Him. Amen. Oh, friend, let me tell you this limited time offer. It's an amazing deal. And it took a sacrifice. Let me say this. Look in our text, Luke 13 here. The Bible says this. This is what stopped me in my tracks when I read this. Said there in verse 23, Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in the straight gate. For many I say unto you will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Amen. Verse 25, it says this. It says, When once the master of the house is risen up. He ain't risen up right now. Jesus Christ is not risen up at this moment. The Bible says he's at the right hand of the throne of God making intercession for you and I. 
He's our propitiation. Amen. Is what the Bible says. Amen. That means he's the just a, just, 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 just a big word to mean he's the go between. Amen. Amen. He's how, he's what gets us to God. Amen. To go tell that to the Catholic Church. Amen. I don't need no priest to get me to God. Amen. I have a propitiation. Amen. Amen. And his name is Jesus Christ. Amen. And he's sitting with God. Amen. Half of them Catholic priests ain't never heard of God. Amen. They ain't never opened their Bible. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. I already have that. Amen. But he's sitting with God at the right hand of the throne of God. But it said, when once the master of the house has risen up, one day he's going to rise up. One day he's going to stand up and say, it's enough. I like to think of it like this. You say, preacher, you're crazy. I know I am. Stick around for a while. You'll find out. But I like to think of it like this. One day he's going to rise up. Say, William's had enough. Amen. He's going to say, William's had enough. I'm coming to get him now. He's going to rise up and say, Tony's had enough. I'm coming to get him now. He's going to rise up and say, Ronnie's had enough. I'm coming to get him now. Amen. He's going to rise up one of these days and say, Hey, that's enough for my people. Amen. I'm coming to get them now. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. Let me tell you this. And this limited time offer, my last point is this. It's only for a limited time. Amen. It's going away soon. Amen. It's going away soon. It said when once the master of the house has risen up, and it said this, and has shut to the door. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. Say, preacher, I can get saved when I want to. No, you can't. Amen. You're lying to yourself. You've let Satan convince you of that. Amen. Look what it says. It said, I shut to the door. Amen. Let me tell you this. When the door is shut, it ain't opening back up. Amen. When the door's shut, it ain't opening back up, friend. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you. Amen. It said, it's shut to the door. It said, and you begin to stand without. I'm glad I'm not going to be one of the ones standing with that. Let me just tell you that this morning, amen. I ain't trying to be boastful. I ain't trying to be arrogant, amen. But I'm happy about my salvation, amen. I'm happy that I, ain't, I don't have to worry, amen. I was, I was talking to a fella, I believe it was a, a Thursday or Friday morning. I can't remember. I think Friday morning. I was talking to a fella and he said, well, I sure hope I go to heaven. I said, boy, I tell you what, I'm glad I'm not hoping I'm going to heaven, amen. I'm glad I don't have to wait and find out, amen. I'm glad that I know, that I know, that I know, that I know, that I... I like that old song. I know my name is there. I like that part where just as I know and everybody just know, you know, we all get out. Amen. Let me tell you, friend, that means we know, amen, that our name is there. We don't have to wait to find out. Amen. This morning, if you don't know whether or not you're going to heaven or hell, you better get saved today. Amen. And know before you leave this room. Amen. Let me tell you, amen. Amen. It said, it said that you begin to stand without and to knock at the door. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Once the door is closed, it ain't opening back up. I think of Noah. The ark is a great picture of salvation by grace through faith. You study it out, you'll find that. Amen. But, but Noah, amen. You, you, read, you, you study that sometime. You'll find that Noah had a hand in a lot of things. He had a hand in, in building the ark. God told him how to build it. He built the ark. He had a hand in getting folks into the ark. That's what, that's what the man of God had a hand in. Amen. He had a hand in telling folks about the flood. Amen. But my Bible tells me, I believe it's in Genesis 7, I believe it's 16. It said the, it said the Lord shut him in. Amen. The Lord shut him in. Noah didn't have a hand on the door. He had a hand in the, in the warning people. He had a hand in building up a place. He had a hand, amen. He had a hand in getting them to go in and hurting them in, amen. But he didn't have a hand in the Because I believe Noah, when they started to knock, I believe he would have opened and let everybody in. 
Amen. He was a man of God. Amen. I believe a Christian that would rather see somebody die and go to hell needs to get right with God. Amen. I believe that. Amen. If you'd rather see somebody go to hell, get right with God. Amen. Because the love of God ain't in you. Amen. Amen. You need to get right with God. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. I believe when, when them floods come and they say, whoa, he was right. That old preacher was right. I thought he was crazy. I thought he was a nut. But he's right. And they probably begin to knock on that ark and say, hey, let us in. And Noah said, you don't understand. I can't open the door. God shut it. Amen. I didn't shut the door. I can't open the door. Let me tell you this, friend. This preacher can't open the door. Amen. Once it's shut, can't open the door. Once it's shut, you can't open the door. Mom and daddy can't open the door. Amen. Nobody is going to be able to open the door, friend. Let me tell you, it's going away soon. One day he's going to rise up and he's going to come to get his church. I'm looking forward to that day, but Dad said it in Sunday school and touched me. There's so much work to do. I've got lost loved ones. I got lost friends. But I got to tell them that door's shutting soon. You look around, you look around at the, at the world. Read 2 Timothy chapter 3 and just then narrate the world for a minute. That's all you do, 2 Timothy chapter 3, just hold it up to the world and you'll see, amen, it's happening right now. The last days, perilous times will come in, call good, evil, and evil good, amen. It's happening right now. Amen. We can't get a crowd out hardly, amen, to, uh, to go knock on a door, amen, but they'll line the streets because they're queers. Straight people line the streets with them. Amen. But they won't tell nobody about Christ. So concerned with love and sin that we forgot to love God. Amen. Amen. I love those sinners too, but I don't love that sin. Amen. If I love, it, let me tell you, if they really love them sinners, they'd be standing on the street corner telling them they're hell bound with the hammer down. Amen. If they don't get saved and get right with God. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. I still believe that sin is sin. Amen. And the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Amen. It says when once the master of the house is risen and has shut to the door. Let me tell you this. Let me say this. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 27, verse number 1, it says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow. It says, don't... Say, preacher, what's that mean? It means don't, don't talk so much about tomorrow. Amen. Don't put so much stock in tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Oh, I've, I've heard them say it, and, and it's been said to me. I, I, I'm young. I, I, I know I am. Y'all give me a hard time sometimes about it. Amen. I'm young. I got friends that are my age, and they'll say... I'll go to church when I get older. I'll go to church when I get older. I have friends that I graduated high school with, Tony. They ain't here no more. I have one boy, I remember him, just played his day. He told me he was a Christian, cussed like a sailor, and I straight up asked him, I said, I thought you was a Christian. He said, he said well, I am some of the time. That was his testimony, the Christian some of the time. Overdosed on drugs about three or four years ago. Dead. I don't know if he went to heaven or hell. I don't know. That was his testimony. Say, preacher, what are you trying to say? Boast not thyself of tomorrow. We tried to preach Wednesday night. We, we started a little sermon series there at Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and, and, and looking at time. And the first one in there says there's a time to be born and a time to die. And, I, and, and my point, I wanted to drive home Wednesday night and let me drive it home again. You don't know neither of those two times. You didn't have a hand in your birth and you don't have a hand in your death. Amen. I mean, you don't. Amen. Amen. But let me tell you, it says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. Say, preacher, I'll get down to the church in my time. I'll get saved in my time. No, you won't. No, you won't. I can't tell you that that convicting power of God will always be there. Amen. No. Amen. One, one day, one day they're going to come. I, I, let me tell you this. Let me, I'll, I'll close with this thought. Sister Carolyn, come on to the piano. Get ready. I, I, I'll close with this thought. When the, when the Lord comes back and the church is out of here, I hope nobody comes to unlock the church. 
Let me say that number one. Because I tell you, say, preacher, I don't believe you. Think about this picture. There's going to be folks that's out there at that door of this church. There's going to be folks that I've invited. And I hope they're watching this on the, they'll say, I'm going to watch you on the internet. I hope they're watching. Amen. Because let me tell you, friend, there's going to be folks I've invited to come and see what God's all about. And they're going to be left behind. And they're going to knock. Say, let me in. But we're going to be gone. We're going to be gone. Everyone stand this morning. Let me tell you this, friend. If you're lost, don't put it off. Get saved now. Amen. Don't wait till the night. We ain't even having service tonight. Amen. But don't you go find somewhere else and think you're going to be able to get saved. Amen. Get, get saved now if God's dealing with you. You can serve God now. You can serve God now. You can serve God at this present time. You ain't got to wait till you're old. Most of these folks around here, I mean this with the utmost respect. They'll tell you they wish they had served God sooner. A lot of these older folks, you talk to them, they'll tell you they wish they hadn't wasted so much time. I like talking to those ones that's up in years. Has been on this road for a long time, and they'll tell you I don't regret a mile. Don't regret a thing. If you lost this morning, come get saved. We got folks that'll pray with you here. Amen. I'll pray with you. Amen. Amen. I, I, I don't want to see anybody die and go to hell. Let me tell you this. If you, if you are saved and you ain't right with God, friend, come get right with God now. Say, preacher, I don't know if I'm right with God. Well, consider Him. Consider Him for a minute. Think about Him for a minute. And you decide whether or not you're right with Him. These altars are open this morning if you have a need.